Hello, folks. Welcome to is this episode 91, maybe. I think this is episode 91. Welcome to episode maybe 91. <laughs> uh, today, I'm going to go through my current ba bank of herbs and uh, do as much herb lore training as I possibly can. I'm going to be picking up a Nightmare Zone box here in about 10 minutes. Uh, so we'll do that. Also, I want to come back and do some more Barrows grinding because I really want uh, RM's gear. And I think I've got a good setup for Barrows right now. But first, let's do this herb lore thing and maybe do a quick farming run. Uh, my cats are going insane, even though they don't get fed for another like, hour and a half. But I guess that's how kitties do. Um, I'll pop in if anything interesting happens. This is one day of resources with 750,000. That's pretty decent. It's not quite as much as we get from Nightmare Zone, but it's a good number of uh, herbs. So. Alright, just finished the farm run. I'm going to go do as much herb lore XP as I can with my current secondaries. Uh, and then we'll go do something else. Maybe it'll be uh, arrows. We'll see. Herb lore 68. Two levels to go. Really hoping we can make it. Extra strong anti-poison potions. Okay, I don't know what that means. I'll have to look that up. Uh, I'm going to finish doing these 64 Cadentine potions, and I'm going to go grab my um, Nightmare Zone boxes. We'll keep going with Herblore for a bit. Alright, so just burned through all my herbs. I'm going to go do another herb run, farm run. See what's coming up after that. I'm going to have to do some quick uh, secondary farming. So like more Meyer fungus and stuff like that. Alright, I'm gonna try to get Wines of Zamorak, which I need like a hundred? Yeah. Oof. Uh, I guess there's a way for me to do it without getting my stats drained and it being a pain in the ass, so I'm gonna give that a shot, see if it works. Uh, that involves going to Falador question mark. I'll give it a shot. I'm just going to try going in there once and see how it works, and maybe I'll come back with other stuff afterward. Oof, this is as slow or slower than the uh, Swamp Paste Farm. I'm going to do a full inventory of them. I think I want ranging potions for reasons anyway. Um, but after that, I don't think I'm going to get all 100, because that would be miserable. Yes, kitties, I know. Actually, now that I'm cycling through three 1500 skill total worlds with no competition, this actually isn't too bad. I could probably get enough to make all of my um, ranging potions. And that's a little bit more XP than I could normally get. I have to drink a... Um, I have to eat a botanical pie to be able to make them. So I will do it one at a time. I'll like get a full inventory. I'll go back. I'll make all the potions. We'll come back, do another full inventory. Need as much, uh, much herb lore, herb lore XP as we can get. Okay, so that's not the most efficient use of my remaining botanical pies. I'm actually going to try to get 77 um, lines. So I need just law runes? I guess I want to bring water runes so I can teleport back easily, too. And actually, before I head up there, I'm going to take a quick break. So I'll be back in a few seconds from your perspective. Hey, I'm back, and uh, before we do these wines, um, wines take a while, so I'm going to take advantage of the fact that time will be passing to quickly go get um, another farming run going. So I'm going to go set that up, and we'll come back and do wines. Hey, farming 70! Man, got that without having to touch uh, Tithe Farm again after getting this full kit, just from doing these herb runs. Well, we've now met another requirement prerequisite for the quest cape. That's extremely exciting. I'm very happy about that. We have a few skills left to go. Excited to get Herb Lord to 70, but the problem is I need to get it to either 76 or, or more realistically 77. So that we can make Sarah Doman Brews, so that we have a chance in hell against uh, the Song of the Elves boss. I don't think eight, hour 800, you know, episode 100, episode 99 is going to happen. I think it's going to have to be extended just just to get herb lore high enough, you know. 
I could probably do it if I could buy Cerudo and Bruise right now. I might be able to attempt it with, uh, like, Blood Barrage or something. I don't know. Try growing some Lanta Dimes. Looks like I can do that if I boost. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just do that in the, um, the Protected Patches after this round. Requires 73 farming. I think I'm going to end up getting quite a bit ahead of 70 farming, the minimum for the quest keep, just from using farming to get um, herbal or secondaries, or herbal or primaries, I should say. Okay, what's the situation here? We got a bunch more Avento. Not enough Mortmire Fungus for all of it. Some Quarm. Let's use the stuff that we got real quick. Alright, time to use these wines of Zamorak to make a bunch of ranging potions. Here we go. I think dwarf wheat is the highest wheat I'm going to be able to get to. I won't be able to do torstal ever, I don't think. To make more botanical pies later, but that's okay. Yeah, the XP drop per potion is actually pretty good for these. Alright, last set. Perfect. And we're pretty close to 69. Very cool indeed. Alright, um, I'll look at my hard diary list really quick. We had something that required Herbore 70, maybe? No, I guess not. No, for hard diaries, the highest requirement is 66, uh, which I should be able to do. Actually, I might want to try to make that one happen. That involves Herbore 66 leaving 75. So, even 70 or a little bit higher, so I can boost to it. Um, that will get me the Troll Herb shortcut, so I can teleport straight onto the roof of the Troll Stronghold, which would be great. I'd have to get one more level in agility, but it shouldn't be too bad. We're already like halfway there from quest rewards or something. I don't know why I've got so much extra agility XP. Okay, um, I think I need to keep doing secondaries here. Big one that I have outstanding is I've got 40 unfinished Snapdragon potions, and that is red spider eggs, I think. So let me figure out where I go to get those. Red spider egg. Collecting red spider's eggs. Hmm. Might be creature creation, actually. Do I have raw sardines? No, but I think I can buy some? I think I can. Well, in the meantime, I need to get at least one egg to start this process, so I'm going to try to do that real quick. Let me get some gear put together here. I'm still trying to fight those secret ogre bosses, or moss giant bosses later. I've got... This should be really easy for me to take on, and I've got several keys. Not a high priority, though. I think this probably would have been faster to come here from Edgeville Dungeon. I'm gonna buy a bajillion sardines from Port Piscarilius. Other more different fishing store, apparently. Whoops. I didn't bring any money. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Third time's a charm. Hmm, drop some noted though. Okay. Which will be nice once I've got a good base of materials, but I'm gonna have to pop to the bank repeatedly. That's fair. I guess them being noted is very nice. I wonder if it'll let me uh, use the notes to run the machine. I'm guessing the answer is no. Six, very cool. So I think. I just barely don't have enough air runes to teleport. Womp, womp. I was like, glad we did the diaries to get these as noted drops. It's super convenient. Basically, you get to multiply any eggs that you do have. <clears throat> I'll have to leave some behind. I can't use them all for making super restores here. So I have some to continue this process later when we get more snapdragons. Red Satch. Turned 10 eggs into 44 eggs. That's pretty sweet. I guess I started with two. Okay, so I turned two eggs into 44 eggs. 
Very little effort. Wonderful. I don't remember how many Snapdragons I had banked. I might have to do one more run. Burn through my remaining sardines. I have... Oh, no, I've got more than enough. Fantastic. And I'll have some left over to restart the process later. Ooh, the red satchels don't stack. No me gusta. Alright, well let's mix these up. Ooh, my super restores. Probably gonna want to plant a few more um, snapdragon seeds before I start selling them for money. I don't know if I... I may have been on a phone call, I don't know if I explained, but I reduced all of my potions to one dose before, just to make sure they could all stack. And my plan is when I go to actually use them, I'll withdraw them and combine them. It's annoying, like, I wish that there was a potion storage thing that worked like the Nightmare Zone potion storage. That would be very nice. Maybe we'll get it one day in the distant future. Because the way storage is handled in the bank is super janky. So we are going to hit 69 herb lore from these, that's cool. And then just one more level to go to qualify for the quest cape. I might, uh, since I'm less concerned about dying now, I might attempt the three Grandmaster quests without Sarah Doman Bruise, just to see how it goes. And then uh, if I can't do it, then we'll be like, okay, now I gotta grind out Herbler. Um, I know earlier I had said that I wanted to do my Tin Man payback. Uh, before we finish the Grandmaster quests, and I don't know if that's going to make sense. It might make more sense to just attempt them, and then do the cleanup after that as like a you know, postscript epilogue. Herb lore 69. Nice. Can make anti-fire potions now without having to boost. So that's cool. Okay, so that's 120 doses. It's a decent number of total potions. Uh, Harlander is chocolate dust, which I can make back at the Culinarimancer's chest. Terramin potions are ashes. I'll have to go farm those from people doing uh, fire making training. But I've pretty much burned through almost all of my primary herbs. Other than the Marantils, but I don't really have an easy way to use those, unfortunately. And I don't think that that stack is worth that much XP in the in the long run. Oh, you know, I just remembered something. Um, do we have some bankable lamps? I must have already used them. I seem to remember doing something that gave us a, a rare bankable XP lamp and me going, I'm going to put this in the bank and then I'm totally going to forget that it's there and I'm going to get past 70 Herblor and not end up using it. But I must have already burned it or something. Um, okay. So speaking of lamps, other things we can do to gain Herblore XP that isn't Herblore. Uh, we can do more diaries. We need 70,000 XP or so. So we take multiple diaries. Each diary gives like, um, what do you call it? Uh, 15,000 XP or so. So I can't do Karamja, because that requires 100 combat. I could do the Karend Diary. Ooh, smithing. Farming 74. I think I need to do smithing. I need to catch smithing up. Then I can make more teleport jewelry, and then I'll make a bunch of other things easier. Um, so to do that, I need money. My main way of making money right now is still pickpocketing master farmers. I don't want to do that for a super long time. I do want to get some Barrows runs in this episode. Uh, let me check as well if any of these mini quests that I have. I was like, remember when I was like, I'm going to do a mini quest per episode, and I did one, and it was like two minutes long, and I never touched the rest of them. Let me see if any of these mini quests give like a lamp at the end. So I can try to burn them under Herb Lord. See, Curse of the Empty Lord. Uh, historian minus. Lamp that gives 10,000 XP. Yeah. I might actually have some quests that I can turn into him now. I don't remember if I did all of these, so I'm going to try to do that real quick. Just see what he tells me. And the more I can throw into Herblore, the better. I could also go try to uh, get fossils 
The problem is the best way to get fossils is the um, the mushroom wood cutting, and I don't need wood cutting anymore for quest capes. So if I could be doing two things at once, that would be great. But I don't think there's a way for me to get fossils that's doing that. Although I guess I guess technically. I can get fossil drops from those wyverns from that slayer task I just got, but that's going to be slow. And I only have like 16 wyverns. Information may be of use in your displays. Staff of Armadil from the Temple of Ekar by Lucian. Help the Guardians and Staff. Banish Lucian from the plane of existence. More kudos. Help to rebuild the observatory. Give him a diagram of the observatory. Bob the Cat. I know a lot about his background. It turns out he was once human and helped to defeat a dragonkin. So really Bob went missing. Bob the Sphinx and Sophonim. Oh yeah, Robert the Strong. Bob his ancestors. And that little museum near Arduin. I guess not all of these give you lamps, I understand. From the knights that held back enemies from the river Sav. That's like a thousand XP, which ain't great, but it's something. It's more than zero XP. Okay, um... Hmm. Let's do Curse of the Empty Lord. Desert Treasure, Restless Ghost, Ring of Visibility, Ghost Speak Amulet, Dangerous Parts of the Wilderness. Uh I don't want that. Well, let's not do it right now, because I don't want to fuck around in the wilderness. <laughs> Just see if the other mini-quests give uh, any sort of XP lamps. Generals... Shadow. Oh, requires Curse of the Empty Lord. Okay. Uh, search of Knowledge. Oh, this is doing stuff in a specific dungeon. Okay. Well, that's not going to cut it. Let me see if I can look up XP lamps and see if there's just a list of places I can get them. Pretty much just hard diaries. Thieving is the only one I can really go for, the Permetic one. Which is what I want anyway, but... And I need money. So I'm thinking I'm just going to have to wait on herbal or like I can't finish it until I get more herbs, right? Okay, so I think I'm going to do about an hour of uh, pickpocketing. Master Farmers. And then we'll find something else to do. We'll do Barrows at some point. I should start using, I think Runelight has this tag system where you can tag sets of gear. So I should like start adding a tag set for Farming? Let me see if I understand how all that works. This is just a way to search parts of my inventory. Should have been using this a while ago. So I always bring that, and then I bring... And I can have multiple tags on these things, I think. I'm going to make one for barrows later, also. I always want to have the... Caret's Memories... Okay, yeah, this is this is pretty convenient. Um, what else have I been bringing for farming? Seeds. I think what other tags, what other stuff do I bring when I go on farming runs? I guess if I find out I forget something, I can add it later. Probably runes. It'll be nice to just pop in here and just grab everything. That is super useful. I should have done it a while ago. Let's get to thieving. I'm gonna watch the clock when it says like 724 hours. I'm probably gonna call it there. Well, let me uh, gather the stuff that's here right now first. Oh, what a bummer. I just ran out of Avento. I thought maybe I had already planted it here. I just burned through it. This is your thief. You can plant. Lantadime, then tap me if I boost, which we'll do later. I think I can pickpocket Avento. We shall see. Alright, off we go to the races. 723, 724.05 ish is when we stop here. I'm gonna quickly do an herb run here before we continue with thieving. I'm gonna bail on planting limpwort for now, it just takes extra time 
really just going to do herbs. Hey, thieving 69. Nice. So I think when we get to 70, I'm, I said I was going to stop, but I'm actually going to push through to get to thieving 70 because then we can boost to finish the Fermented Card Diary, which is 15,000 Herblore XP and several really convenient uh, upgrades. So I'm going to keep going. I might want to do 71 thieving. Uh, we need the money anyway. Like, this isn't a waste of time. We need it for smithing and for construction. Um, my thought is getting to 71 will make it slightly easier to stew our way to 75. I don't want to fish for just a plus 5 bonus. That was pretty miserable last time. Hey, got a Snapdragon Seed Steel. Actually going to use that. I'd like to get... Probably at least a hundred four dose super restorers before we start selling super snapdragon seeds. Uh, ran our seeds though, I'm good on per potion, so I'm just gonna start selling those for money. I've already got a decent set of money here. Gotten two torsal seals, which is pretty good. I'm definitely going to sell those because it's like farming 84 or something ridiculous to make them. And we're not going to get anywhere near that during the quest cave playthrough, so it's basically just free money. But right now I've got how much in seeds banks? About a million gold, which is good. That's how much I need for smithing. I Threw away about a million gold into, um, well, I didn't throw it away, but I invested it into managing miscellanea. Which should help a bit with uh, herb lore, especially if we end up taking herb lore up to craft uh, Suridome Brews. I wonder if I can cheat my way to a 100 episode, 800 hour playthrough by simply stopping playing around hour 750 and just recording myself logging in. For a few seconds every day <laughs> to pick up my managing miscellaneous stuff. I'm not going to do that. I don't think that that's necessary, but. Funny to think about. Alright, well, I'm going to keep going to 70 thieving. Um, I might keep going to 71 thieving so that I can easily boost for the Keldrum stall since we're. We have enough money to do smithing to 70 now, but we still need to get 4 million gold for um, construction 70. And the benefits of finishing the Fermented Card Diary are significant. So. But I promise, I hereby swear, I swear that there will be Barrows in this episode. I know, I'm sure Barrows is interesting to watch, even if a chunk of it's on fast forward, because who knows what's going to pop up in the chest. Um, I would very much like to get multiple pieces of arms gear, because we need... Like, I, I've gotten lots of decent upgrades for both the melee and ranged kits, but we've been on Mystic gear for Mage for a really long time now. And I think arms is a pretty significant step up from Mystic. Alright, we got to do another farming run, and I'll come back to finish off 70 Thieving. Oh, I just got a Hispori seed. Uh, it did not. I did not realize that you could get those outside of the um, the farming guild. That's cool. Okay. Well, now I know. Maybe I should be planting more stuff. No, I, I don't want to plant more stuff. It's super slow. I don't need the farming XP. I'm literally just doing this for herbs and herb lore secondaries. Okay, let's go ahead and plant this seed then do it tomorrow at some point. Oh, did I not replace shit? Farming guild. My bad. Oh, I think I remember why. It was because I was waiting to see if I got a um, the contract for it. That's fair. Let me look up his spory seeds then. I Maybe I read the wiki wrong. Because if I do it this way, then when this herb is ready, I know all the other ones are ready. Randall Dutini, the Alright, let's finish off level 
70 thieving. Don't think we need to jump right into uh, 71 thieving. I want to make sure we get some other stuff done this episode. I don't have any yellow. Oh, I've got some yellow spice left over. So that's enough to do three attempts. I might try that. I might just see if I luck out and get the plus five thieving boost before we go do barrows or something else more interesting. I need to make more of these tags. It's insanely convenient. If I can make one for like my ranged kits for Slayer versus not Slayer. I should have done that many hours ago, but I didn't really understand how this worked, so. Uh, we want a rope kit. I think people actually publish, like, if you go in the Runelike Discord, there's like an entire channel that's just for making sets of tags. It might be convenient. Thieving 70. Okay, I'm gonna go give a shot. No pickpocket from Paladins. I'm gonna take a shot and see if I can uh, uh, use my yellow spices to maybe do the first step of this um, diary. I'm also gonna sell all these Ranar seeds and Torstal seeds. Equals at least enough money to pay for smithing. Oh yeah. And then we made a pretty decent dent in uh, just the overall money that we need to pay for smithing and construction together. This, this is effective, and it gets more effective every time I level up, because I fail less frequently. But yeah, let's give this a shot. Um, let me make some yellow stews real quick. Alright, I can only make one at a time. Six left, so I can bring two more stews. And then we'll just pray. Keldegrim gem stall. Okay, here's the stall. First spicy stew. That is a minus three. Alright, I'm just gonna wait out the debuff here. I'll use the prayer to speed it up. Okay, stepped away for a sec. Let's do the next one. Come on, big money. That is minus two thieving. All right, I'll wait again for... I'm going to go start cooking some food while we wait. Air fryer, so I'm trying to stand mute as much as possible. That is a minus five thieving. That is the opposite of what we wanted. That's too bad. I gave it a try. Okay, um, let me go sell this stuff and uh, prep for barrows. Air fryer's still running. Um, you, know, you see me do barrows now. I'll just fast forward through it. I guess I'll pop up if something really interesting happens. Okay, air fryer is done running. Um, <clears throat> what I think I'm learning is that I need to do, I need to save my protection prayers for uh, Darok. Obviously, he's super dangerous. He has an early nasty attack that does more damage based on how low his health is. Um, but I also need to save it for Carol because Carol is insanely accurate, and because auto cast doesn't seem to work, uh, like it, it takes several extra ticks after you eat in order for it to activate again versus manually casting. It's very stressful to go in and try to swap between those back and forth. So I think my first two brothers are going to be Darok and Carol. I think I'll continue to save Aram for last. I mean, we'll see this time if that seems like a good idea. Um, I did bring the Ceridomen cape this time instead of the Ava's Accumulator. I feel like I don't really understand why it recommends the Ava's Accumulator. You don't need to save that much ammo because you're only shooting the one enemy. Maybe if you were using insanely expensive ammo, but broad bolts are like dirt cheap, so it's not even a thing. I'm going to finish getting 100% reward potential and then we'll uh, go fight Arm and see what we get. And see how smooth I can get these to be. 
Get some decent magic XP. Theoretically sustainable magic XP since runes drop constantly from this. Okay, defense XP from this phase. Do it all the way around? Are you serious? Yeah, sure do. I didn't really think about getting my agility tanked by 41 it is annoying. <laughs> Just for moving around in here. And like the attack bonus on the accumulator is not incredible either. It's not like I'm giving up a enormous range attack bonus to bring the Ceridoman cape. Yeah, that was that was totally fine. Arm last is where it's at. What do we get? It's 910 mine runes. Okay. Now let me go stat restore, and we'll go again. And those mine runes would be super exciting if they weren't super cheap from stores. Blood runes are cool, too. I guess I can every so often use the Shades of Morton teleport, so it's a little bit closer. But I need to stop at a bank before I do that. Let me go ahead and add a spade as well. Arrows. I'm really excited to start using this tagging system. The shame is at the end of the playthrough. That I kind of grok it, but what are you going to do? Rare Axe probably the next most threatening to run out of prayer on. He's a good one to go run out of prayer on, is what I mean to say. Oh, son of a bitch. Not so much for that plan. So I think I want to start bringing at least one full prayer potion with me as an emergency, because I guess it's possible that Darok will be the last one. And if that happens, um, I need to not die. <laughs> I guess there's a way to try to, to force a safe spot. The corner rooms have a space that's meant to include a ladder, and uh, they will not cross that space. So. Shit, Carol's the final brother. I'll probably end up using a prayer pot for that. We'll see. Especially since I can't safe spot him. Okay. What do we get? Hey, we got a thing. I need to look at what that is once we get out. It's a weapon, I think? Korag's Hammers, 87 Crush, plus 6 Melee. Well, that's neat. We got a thing, at least. Let me, uh, let me research what the deal is with those. Why do I care about Torag's Hammers? Must have 70 Attack and Strength, so glad we did all that Nightmare Zone. Damaging melee effects have a chance of lowering the victim's run energy by 20%. Oh, it's not... That's not very exciting. Guess... Let me, let me unequip my current thing and compare it to the Dragon Scimitar. Okay, so Dragon Scimitar has a plus 42 slash bonus, plus 26 melee strength bonus. So this is a higher melee strength bonus and a significantly higher attack bonus as a crush weapon. Low popularity and value compared to other Barrow's weapons. The hammers have a low strength bonus and Torak's special effect is not useful. They have a high crush bonus. Okay. Well, no, oh, and I can't use a offhand with it. Oof. Well, I guess it's good that we got the worst item first. Get it out of the way? Question mark. I'll go ahead and deposit it. Uh, maybe we'll have a use case for it later. Who knows? Hey, 232 death runes. We're definitely coming out ahead on death runes. That's really exciting. I will definitely be able to use this to pay back death runes.
I guess if Derox thing is that he does more damage when you have no health. I imagine getting Derox gear together makes Nightmare Zone a breeze. If you can get that full set, you spend all of Nightmare Zone at one hit point, it's probably insanely good uh, XP too. I'm going to have to do Nightmare Zone for points again soon. I'm almost out for uh, gift boxes. I might be able to swing one more day without doing it for points. Hundred and twenty three, that's a lot of runes. Okay. I'll take it. Alright, so that was the fun part. We did barrows. I will be doing more barrows because I've got more gear that I want to get. <clears throat> I actually want to get most of the barrows gear. Especially the RM set for Quest Cape and then the Derek set for um Nightmare Zone. But I gotta get my quest requirements. I think what I want to do is I want to attempt the three Grand Master quests before uh, episode 100, or as of episode 100. That doesn't mean beat, but get to the point where I can't win because I don't have sufficient resources. Uh, so that means I should start really focusing on uh, meeting those prerequisites. I'm going to do smithing. Once I get smithing out of the way, all of my gold can go straight in, into construction, which would be nice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and buy a bunch of gold from the Blast Furnace, which we all know is incredible and delightfully fun to watch. You will get to enjoy it fast forwarded. Glad I made all these super energies. It's making this way more tolerable. It's every so often I have to stop and quaff one. Okay, I finished making. I finished getting all 4,215 gold ores. So smithing it is going to be awful, but alking it is going to be really awful. Um, I'm going to have to calculate a certain amount of this gold to set aside for making teleport jewelry and just like utility jewelry in general. What I'll probably do is I'll add up uh, all of my gems and just reserve the number of gold bars for. Um, whatever with gems. And I'll try to pre-craft some of it because I could benefit from the crafting XP. This might be enough. I'm actually curious. Is this going to be enough for us to hit 70 crafting? Am I not going to have to do any more glass blowing? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to go over. Okay. Well, I guess I didn't have to make all those uh, blue dragon heads. Although, no, no, no. This is good. This is actually good. Uh, if we get to a higher crafting level, that gets us closer to maybe eventually, possibly, perhaps, one day making an Amulet of Glory, which is like a day one purchase for most normal accounts, because they're like dirt cheap on the Grand Exchange, and I've actually seen people drop them several times, because they just don't care. Uh, but it's something that an Iron Man slash Tin Man account probably will never get, without like going way out of their way to grind Hunter or Crafter. Anyway, um, let's see. I am going to go do one more farming run to close out the episode. And then next episode, we'll pick up with smithing these 4,241 gold ore. Crafting the 4,241 gold ingots. And maybe alking after that. But I might need for my own sanity to do something other than alk because it's, I hate it. It's the fucking worst thing. <laughs> It's so bad, and I wish you could just like set it to auto alk. I don't know why they don't let you do that. I guess I do. It would break the economy. Um, but you've all seen a million uh, of these farming runs, so I'm just gonna go recharge my skills necklace, and I'll fast forward throughout, and I'll pop in if we get like a hispori seed or, or something cool. See ya. Okay, I think that's a good stopping point. After doing the farming run, we're doing. Pretty well on herbs. I think 70 is going to be very, very doable, obviously. Uh, 75 slash 76, quite a bit less so. But we're going to give it a shot. I think it's going to have to be 76. I'm going to need the, the consistent plus four buff from the botanical pie. I'm trying to go for um, 
Well, you know, it's 77, isn't it? Because I think Saradome and Bruiser are 81. If I tried to do spicy stews, like, I just wouldn't have enough time to actually craft all the Saradome and Bruiser that I'm going to need. So I think if we get to 77 Herblore, then I can just sit at 77 with a garden pie up and or a botanical pie up and do as much as I need to do. But I have a feeling that's not going to happen, or at least it's not going to happen in the next 60 to 70 hours. So that will be our plan B if Grandmaster quests don't work out the way I'm anticipating that they're going to work out. Um, or hoping that they're going to work out, I should say. Uh, thanks for watching. Next episode, we're going to open by burning through this 4,241 gold. It's going to suck really bad. And then hopefully we can get some, uh, some barrowsing done after that. Thanks, and see you next time. Bye. Greetings! Episode 92. Let's go get smithing to 70. It's gonna suck. Uh, I'm gonna do other stuff this episode that's less miserable than this, but this is just par for the course. Got 4,000 gold ore that we have. It's, it's gonna blow. Oh, I guess before I do this, let me go do a farming run. I'm glad I left myself in farming gear to remind myself of that. Um, everything I planted right before going to sleep should be ready to, to gather, so I'm going to do that first. Uh, <laughs> I can't imagine why I would come off fast forward, so I might not see you for a few hours in game time. Okay, farming run is done. Time to go do part. Let's go. Level smithing to 70. Um, I think I am. I went ahead and set a timer. I'm going to break up the smithing with herb runs every time my herbs become available to harvest. I think that this is a good skill for me to break up. First of all, I'm going to need to break it up for my own sanity. Second of all, I need to do herb runs as often as possible, and if I can do them like literally on the hour, then that would be Fantastic. Oh, don't forget my goldsmith gauntlets. That would be extremely sad. Since this is so static, I've set up screen markers for myself to know where to click, which is pretty silly, but it, it works. This one, as long as I keep the camera centered facing south, so to hover my mouse over here, pop here, 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 and repeat. Smithing 67. We got three levels to go. It is super slow. I mean, I guess I technically could be doing Blast Furnace, but I think that the upkeep cost is high enough that I should just do it manually. It's fine. Okay, time for a farming run, then we'll be back with more smithing. I guess I'll go ahead and tag, even though I shouldn't have these, I should have them in the um, leprechaun, I keep forgetting to. Farming. Farming. Smithing 68. Two more. <laughs> you can now make mithril plate bodies. Do you remember 710 hours ago when I insisted that I was going to brute force 68 smithing? <laughs> oh boy, am I glad we didn't do that. Thank goodness for shops that sell mithril plate bodies. The fuck is this? Office? What is even happening? Windows 10. Hold on. It... Apparently, I'm struggling to make this go away. I have no idea even what this is. Oh, and it's got my email address displayed. Fucking awesome. It's not 
irrelevant email address that I'm. I don't need to like go and hide it or something. It's my Microsoft email address that I use to sign in for Xbox 360 or something. I might even have it displayed on stream sometimes, but still, like, what the hell? Did I like press the Windows key or something? <sighs> Windows 10 has been a nightmare for me. I know some people haven't had too much trouble with it, but I up I did one of those 7 to 10 upgrades, and it's just, it's awful. Back to Smithen. Yeah, I experimented with turning... God damn it. It's my, uh... The moment I hit unmute, it's my farming run timer, so we'll go do that in a second. Um, anyway, a few episodes ago, or a couple episodes ago, I don't remember how long ago now, I'm just going back and re-watching the VODs to title them while I'm doing the smithing. Um, and I noticed that after I turned the music volume down a little bit in-game, that the, the uh, OBS streaming software that I'm using to record, I also reduced the volume there and it made it so that the in-game music was like, basically inaudible. Which is fine, you know, these are so fast forwarded anyway that you're barely going to hear any audio anyway, but I just turned it back up, so when I'm talking you should be able to hear a little bit of game audio behind me again. That's all. Back to smithing, and, and then I'm going to do an herb lore run, or herb farming run, here in a second. Right, and uh, apparently my... Hardwood trees are done on Fossil Island, so I'm going to go try to do those really quick, too. Um, I might be able to replant stuff, so i got to take a second to make sure I've got saplings and protection items and all that fun stuff. Probably do that next before I do the rest of the herb lore run before I forget. Here comes a super big farming XP drop. It sounds awful, 16,000, very nice. But at 71, I might want to go do more um, tithe farm. The reason being I can boost to get to the final seed level so I can get a decent amount of XP. Also, I still want to get auto weed, which involves two runs of tithe farm, which I can probably tolerate. Yeah, that got me pretty close to to 71. We'll get there from herb runs. Then. Not too much trouble. Are they still haven't turned into saplings? Are you serious? I must have, like, set them up. I think that they, they turn into saplings in the same tick as the weed tick. Uh, which means that all these patches are going to get weeds here in a second. Womp womp. Alright, well, I'll go get the birdhouse while I wait. You know, this whole smithing shenanigan, I really gotta make more dig site pendants. The thing that was delaying me from doing it was not having gold ore, and we're set on that now. I'll have to take a pause once we hit 70 smithing and just calculate how much teleport jewelry I want to make, given my resources. I'll probably uh, write down all of my gems, chisel whatever gems that I have that aren't cut, um, make a quick addition to my spreadsheet summarizing them, look up all the possible jewels I can make, bits, bits of jewelry I can make from each gem, and then figure out how many of those I actually want to make divided among them. Uh, make those, and then craft the rest into bracelets for alking, which is going to suck. I think... How many items can you alk per hour? This is probably a knowable thing, right? Uh, It is possible to alk 1,200 items per hour. Oh yeah. So we've got, let's call it 4,200. It's going to take three and a half hours just to alk. <laughs> Kill me, God. Uh, I guess on the plus side, that's going to be equal to... Watch it be, like, one magic level. Um, oh, it might be an okay number of magic levels. Hold on. Uh, 
Magic. I'll look up the XP table. No, medium blue scroll. Okay. And maple seed. Right on. So the math is all beats. After alking for three and a half hours straight, I will be level 77 magic. I'm already almost 76. Will I, be, will I even be close to 78? Not really. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not going to do the alking this episode. This Otherwise, this episode would just be... Farming runs and processing the orb. I mean, I guess, what do you expect from the end of a quest cave playthrough, right? Like, this is literally how much time it takes. I do need to alk all of it at some point, though, because the uh, Song of the Elves quest, we want to have our magic stat as high as humanly possible to increase accuracy and damage dealt. Final boss of Song of the Elves is basically a DPS race, from what I can gather. Kill it, and kill the adds it spawns, which heal it, before uh, you run out of healing items. It's crazy to consider that Song of the Elves came out during this playthrough. Like, it was not out as of Episode 1. And it's the thing that's most shaping my decisions right now. I think I should do this medium clue scroll before I go back to smithing or I'm completely going to forget about it, so we'll just knock that out real quick. Also, I need to get um, I need to recharge my skills necklace, so I'm going to grab that really quick. Hooray for medium clues, not having any enemies, like it really simplifies things. What the fuck is this? I don't think I've ever been on this fairy ring. CJR near the Sinclair Mansion. Okay. Alright, what's in the casket? Let's see. Absolute trash, garbage, garbage trash. Smithing 69. Nice. One more to go, and then I never have to smith ever again, which would be great, because it sucks to do. Not a fan. Alright, my timer just went off. It's time to go do another farm run, and I'll be back to wrap up 70 smithing. We're almost there. So close. There's farming 71, totally not on a purpose level. Very much increases the chance that I will revisit Tithe Farm for uh, two runs to get auto weed at some point. I need to find out what the best timing is, but I feel like it should be pretty good because of the fact that I can get the level 74 uh, seed early thanks to Garden Pies. Speed things up a little bit. I think I may have just barely made it in time to cure these herbs. So I think they're like super close to the time threshold or something. Oh wait, no, this says done at 9.25. Are they really late to get here or something? Why is Catherine so much later than everything else? Well, I guess I'll... Bank stuff and then make a quick um, pineapple run. Guess. Good enough. Really lucky timing, I got to cure that herb before the final step.
Smithing, 70. We now qualify for the quest cape with smithing. Very cool indeed. I'll finish smelting. I've just got a little bit of extra gold ore in me as well. Knock it out here. Uh, that means we just have Slayer, Hunter, Herb Lore, Crafting, and Construction to go. Most of those are almost there. Hunter and Construction are the furthest away, but both of them have good XP rates. It's just going to be a question of getting money for Construction and like putting in the effort for Hunter. I'm going to get to 70 Crafting with Gold Bracelets here. Um, and then... Because I'll have plenty left over. I've got way more gold bars than I need to get to 70 crafting. Uh, and then I'm going to take a break. I might take a break in the middle of the bracelets, depending on how long it projects for it to get done. I need to go take a shower and stuff. Um, but during the break, I will calculate how many of the remaining gold bars I need to craft into jewelry. Uh, so we'll do that. Set that aside. And then in some future episode, I'll probably do alking try to do something less miserable with what's left in the time in this episode. I think wrap time is, what, 7.36? 7.8? 7.36. So you've got a little under three hours left in the episode. Now I probably don't have to smelt for a really long time. Let's see. Bars. I need to have a bracelet on right? 2,750-ish of these are going to get us to 70 crafting. <laughs> Jesus. And then, um... I will save the remaining bars for jewelry. Should be plenty left over. So I, I might not do this for a full hour. This might be too much. Uh, I might take a break part way through. Take my shower and then come back for it. In any case, I think I want to go hard on um, finishing the skill prerequisites for uh, the Grandmaster quest, because I'd like to keep it open to at least attempt all three quests by either episode 99 or episode 100, depending. So I can leave open the option of then bailing out, but you know, what happens if we try out those quests and then they're actually too super doable? We don't need to over-prepare for them. That would be interesting. Okay, here's my plan. I guess this doesn't affect you because it's going to be like two seconds that I step away from my break from your perspective. Um, but I'm going to keep doing this back to back until my farming alarm goes off. Then I'm going to go do a farming run and then I'm going to go step away. Come back and we'll wrap up 70 crafting. Alright, my farming alarm is going off. Time to go do a little bit of farming. I'm going to take a short break before we finish crafting 70. I feel like we're going to get several skill prerequisites this episode. I think that if, depending on time remaining after getting crafting to 70, I might be able to use my herbs that I've got banked to hit uh, herb or 70 as well. Maybe with the Nightmare Zone boxes that I'll pick up after stream. Hey, perfect timing. I just triggered the six hour logout thing. Uh, I'm going to step away, take a shower, come back, finish up um, crafting 70, and then I'm going to do my calculations on um, what kind of jewelry I want to make. Maybe I'll do that first. I can delay making the rest of the gold bracelets. I do need to do it at some point just for the money from Alking, but anyway, be back in a few seconds. Yo, I'm back, and I think I've got my plan ready for um, jewelry, so we'll do that first off. Oh, there's so much ash here. I need some of this. I'm going to gather some of this ash real quick, and then we'll go execute the plan. Some, enough ash to use with my 61 unfinished Terramin potions. Uh, let's make these uh, special jewelries, jewel necklaces... I've decided to make 100 games necklaces, 100 rings of dueling, 100 dig site pendants.
for my teleport jewelry. Uh, and then 50 rings of recoil, 25 binding necklaces, 50 abyssal bracelets, and 25 amulets of power. So I'm going to do those in descending order of the number of things I need, if that makes sense. There's Magic 76 from Enchanting, Teleporting, I guess a little bit of combat at the beginning, right? We're getting some Magic XP from doing Barrows with uh, Ivan's staff. It's good. We want Magic to be as high as possible before we start doing the Grandmaster quest, so... It's definitely not a bad thing, and it happened to be ex almost exactly enough. I was not on purpose. Okay, so that's done. Uh, let's go back to making gold bracelets until... Cra well, do I want to make some... I want to see if I want to make some uh, just like regular rings potentially. Are they better for alking? Sort of, but what is each sapphire worth? No, it's about equal to. Well, it's actually slightly more value. I may as well because it's worth extra XP. Let me check really quick. Sapphire. Bring DEs to 540, 630 in the necklace, 690 on the bracelet. So it's the bracelet. I'll just do bracelets then. Hey, 70 crafting. We are done. Um, I will probably come back and make the rest of these bracelets and gold bars and alk all of them just because I'm going to need the money for construction, but I'm not going to do it right now. We're going to we're going to bail. That leaves us with just four skills remaining. Oh my goodness, it's kind of awesome. Uh, we now only need seven construction levels, seven hunter levels, two slayer levels, and one herblore level. And I think the herblore level we're very close to having in the bank. I just need to get the secondaries for it and the like. Um, I'm going to wrap up this episode with one more farming run. Do that really quick on mute, and then I'll pop in to just kind of summarize what the plan is for the next one. But right now I want to go hard on quest requirements. I want to get as close to all the prerequisites being done as we can. Um, the hope that we can actually attempt these quests before episode 100. I guess that if we attempt them all before episode 100 and we get to like a, a blocking point, like a boss that we can't defeat, we'll still have done most of the work for those quests, like we did with Grim Tales. So, I'll be back in a little bit after this farming run. Okay, we're looking pretty good. 263 irrit leaves. Um, I'm actually kind of impressed at how quickly you can burn through a huge stock of herb leaves, herb seeds. Um, I basically burned through all of my high-level herb seeds above Renar um, that we got from many, many, many levels of, of thieving. So... That's interesting, to say the least. Uh, yeah, okay, so next episode, like I said, we're going full steam ahead. Full steam ahead on um, reaching the minimum quest requirements for the quest cape, so that we can at least attempt start those quests, even if we have to stop at the, at the final bosses of each of them. Uh, so update on that next episode. Um, I'm probably going to finish Herblore 70. I think I've got enough stuff banked. I'm going to have to go on a quick tour to collect... Uh, the secondaries for the herbs that I have got in the bank. Um, I might have to do... I, I'm just barely short on points to be able to buy the maximum number of Nightmare Zone boxes, so I might have to do some Nightmare Zone. Um, I'll try to keep that as brief as possible because it's not time spent, you know, working on the minimum stat requirements. Uh, after Herb Lore, I'll probably work on Slayer because I think that's going to take the longest of the remaining skills. 
Um, once Slayer hits 69, then we're going to do Hunter, which I envision is only going to take about an hour per level. That shouldn't be too bad. Uh, and then we'll our last skill we'll get up will be Construction, which is going to require money, which is probably going to require Thieving. Um, I'm going to want to be Thieving anyway, because I'm going to need Seeds to continue doing farm runs, to continue leveling Herblore, to get Herblore high enough to make several things. It's actually not just uh, Ceridomen Brews that we want. Um, but there's uh, stamina potions are actually going to matter. It seems like, particularly for Monkey Madness 2, we want to be able to have practically unlimited run energy. Um, but thank you for watching. We're getting close to the the end, not the end end. Like I, I honestly don't think we're going to win. I don't think we can beat any three of these quests with the current stats and gear. Um, I don't know how long my phone was going off there. I'm sorry, but it was super loud. Uh, we're getting close to the prerequisites, and then we're probably going to have to do another 100 or 200 hours of grinding to be able to actually beat them. But I'm going to give it a shot as is, and we'll see what happens. Thanks. See you next time. Bye. Hello, hello, friends. It is episode 93. We are on the home stretch of qualifying for the quest cape. I won't say of getting the quest cape because we probably need to grind for another 100 to 200 hours to get the stats and gear necessary to actually beat the bosses in the Grandmaster quest. But we only need two Slayer levels, one Herblore level, seven Hunter levels, and seven Construction levels. I don't have a ton of time right now. I'm logging in to do a farming run before I go out for the evening, so I'm going to try to knock that out real fast, just on mute, and then it'll we'll come back in a couple seconds, probably do another farming run to really, you know, knock out that Herblore. And then I'd like to do as much Slayer as possible get Slayer up to 69. Oh wait! Oh, we got a Hespori seed. That's exciting. I planted a Hespori recently, didn't I? Okay, ready at 2.45 in the morning. I'll have one to replace it with. That's cool. I guess I'll bank it. They just gave me seven seeds, and that's actually kind of perfect. Put the Herolanders away. I've been using the dregs and herblore seeds lately. Oh yeah, maple tree seed. We protect maple with. Regardless, let me get out my trowel and all that nonsense. Basket of oranges. Am I sitting on enough oranges to be able to take advantage of that? I, I am, just barely. And we were just at a farming tick too. The maple sapling was triggered. Basket of oranges paid. Kind of excited to have back to back Hesporia attempts. Bottomless compost bucket would be great. Save an enormous amount of inventory space in doing these runs. And I would justify me like building up a ton of super compost, because right now I'm just kind of going paycheck to paycheck. I like go refill it when I need it. But I'd like to just have so much of it. I didn't realize how effective super compost was in keeping uh, herbs from getting diseased. It's like 90% effective or so. Disease was the main thing that made me not want to do farming. If it just didn't exist as a mechanic, I probably would have gotten into the skill a lot earlier. I think it's actually pretty chill and fun. Once you get super compost and understand how it works, I could have done that sooner, but like knowing, oh, there's a shop you can walk to. Uh, there's a shop that you can walk to near Catherby, and you can just stock up on pineapples and then put the pineapples in for free super compost. It's kind of a complicated step. Shit, my ride's on their way. I might not be able to finish this farming run in time. I'm gonna try to hurry.
At least do the easy ones. Oh, but I got my warps now, but I didn't equip them because I didn't have them when I signed off. Shit. Close on time. I may not be able to get to the very last dirt patch. We'll see. I forgot to put. I was too panicked. I forgot to put compost on it. Okay, that one's probably gonna die. If I end up having seconds, I'll work back and try to put compost on it, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. My ride is on their way to pick me up now. Andrew's out of town, we're going to play some board games, and I'm like, I don't have a car. My wife has it at the airport. I'm barely going to be able to pick it. i got to sign off. Instant I plant the super compost. I'll be back in a few seconds after that to probably do another round of farming runs, and then uh, we'll do Slayer. I'm going to try to keep doing what we were doing during smithing, just setting a timer to do farm runs while doing Slayer. Cool. Okay, bye. Hey, I'm back from my appointment. Several hours have passed. I can do another herb run, so I'll do that right now. I'm out of fucking seeds. Are you kidding me? Fortunately, I didn't refill the active file and I noticed before I teleported away, so let me do that real quick. Let's see, is that... I'm guessing the maple tree's not done yet, right? No. Okay, uh, now I need to make a list of secondaries that I have to collect, um, because I'd like to start leveling herb lore. So I'm going to look through my bank and uh, figure that out, and then we'll go on a secondary gathering journey. So let's start with the stuff that I don't need secondaries for. Here at least, leaves. I guess before I finish doing this, let me go grab a Nightmare Zone boxes. I think I'm just barely short of enough points to get all the boxes for the day. Probably need, means I need to run a points run. Really don't want to, though. <laughs> Guess I could go in and do a normal rumble. And just consider myself a little bit behind on absorptions. Figure out how many points I'm short by, I guess. So I can only buy 15 per day, and I only had enough points to buy 13. So... Do I go in for like 20,000 points really fast? Not even 20,000 points, isn't it? Is it worth the gold to do that? I think there's a mode that I can trigger that's cheaper? Hold on, let me... Because like everybody does a customizable rumble, right? But can I have an easier time of it. I might be able to just try Endurance. Let me give that a shot. I don't need that many points as the, as the operating thing here. This way I can avoid bringing in any gear or any potions. I don't have to spend any points to be able to attempt it. Or any money. I'll give it a shot. I have no idea what to expect, but it's worth a try. I guess I get unlucky depending on the order in which the enemies spawn, but... 1,000 coins. Okay, that's basically free. Let's see how it goes here. I'm just curious. Trap sold to start. It's great. Worth practically no points, so that's okay. Or if it's ascending order of difficulty. It might be. 
we've got enough points now to be able to afford Wonder Box, so that's good. Yeah, I think it's a sending order of difficulty. This guy poisons you, which I don't have a way out of, I don't think. Kill him before he poisons me is my way out of it. What quest is this song associated with? Oh, right. Oh, King Rold. Theme is way too epic for what it is. Oh yeah, which is experiment. All the different forms. If one of these drain prayer, what the deal is. I come out of this and the only advantage is that I get to um, get one more box and I'll be fine with it for a thousand gold. That was unfortunate. Elvarg aggroed me before I realized what was happening. I'll get my one extra box, I guess. I can live with being down by one to not have to go do Nightmare Zone right away. I guess I have until tomorrow morning. It's 9.30 p.m. and I have all through to tomorrow morning, so I might end up getting into a new episode, and then maybe in that new episode I'd be okay with doing a little bit of Nightmare Zone. I just really want to finish Herblore 70 here, you know? Go grab my uh, Miscellanea Island rewards, too. Gotta go gather some secondaries real quick. Let's start with the anti-fire potions. Maze random, sure. Okay, this is pretty exciting. I'm about to hit 70 Herblore. The skill I was concerned I would not be able to even hit 70 on, but we've been very diligent with uh, Herb runs and with Nightmare Zone and with lamping the skill, uh, I'm very, very, very happy to be able to say that this is not going to stop us from getting the quest cave. <laughs> uh, it might still, though. It might still. Of all the fucking skills, of all the skills in RuneScape, to need to take significantly above the quest cave threshold to have a chance at succeeding, it could have been cooking. It could have been defense, it could have been magic. No, the one skill that we have to take way over the threshold is herb lore, and it is by far the hardest skill to train on a, an Iron Man or a Tin Man account. Uh, it is going to be brutal. We are not done. Uh, I, like I said, I'm going to try all three quests between now and uh, episode 100 or episode 99, depending on the timing. Either is aesthetically kind of cool. We. I, as far as I can tell, you need Ceridome and Bruise. Like, there are a couple super hardcore, extremely good PDM players that have pulled it off with, like, nonsense with, with blood spells, but they all had insanely high magic and insanely high everything else, so... We're gonna have to take Herblore up another seven levels or so after this. But I'm celebrating, I haven't even hit it. Let me go ahead and actually finish. Let me, uh, go ahead and mortar and pestle this stuff make my 16 or so potions that we need to get the final level up here. On the one hand, if... So, my original plan was to get to 70 Herblore and completely stop until I found out that we needed those Cerodome and Brews. Now, I know that we need to get to 77. Um, so that means that I can't... I want to go full steam, nothing but quest prerequisites, but stuff like... The, the, the other issue with the herb lore is that all of it is time gated. It's it's herb runs from farming. It's uh, nightmare zone boxes. You know, it's miscellaneous it's stuff that I have to pay attention to and stuff that I have to devote time in each episode to. So, I guess nightmare zone's not a waste because we're getting XP that we need for combat to make the last three grandmaster quests easier. 
more doable. Defense is the big one that we got to get up now. Let's make these first 14. I think if I keep on top of these, these herb runs, and I keep on top of Nightmare Zone, it can happen. It's going to be extremely slow. We basically just burn through all the herbs since hitting 68, or 69, I should say. And there's still some left in the bank, but that pretty much just paid for one level, and it's just going to get worse from here on out. Big woof. <laughs> here it comes. Herblore 70. As far as minimum requirements are concerned, we are finally there. It did happen. Uh, we're going to have to go above that, but it's, it's possible. <laughs> uh, all right. I need to go do... I am going to continue doing farming runs as often as possible whenever I can think of them and have the time to address them. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and do the farm run that's up right now to get herbs. Uh, because it's going to be a goal to get 77 herb lore that'll make, let us make stamina potions natively. More importantly, it'll let us boost to 81 to make serodomen brews, which I think are going to be necessary for at least Song of the Elves, possibly all three quests, but, but definitely Song of the Elves. Um, I think Monkey Madness 2 might be doable without fancy healing. I don't know about Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer seems like it's pretty tough. But just the DPS race and the final boss in Song of the Elves, I think, requires Serodome and Bruise. Uh, let's go do this farm run, and then I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go to sleep. And then when I wake up, we will continue with more uh, minimum quest requirements focus. We've just, we're down to three skills now. Two levels of Slayer, seven levels of Construction, seven levels of Hunter... I think I want to do Slayer first, then Hunter, then we'll wrap up with Construction, which is going to involve a bunch of thieving for money. Let me go ahead and clean these Dwarf Weeds. I don't have to boost to do that anymore. That's incredibly exciting. It was frustrating before. Once we finish this grind, we'll be able to get uh, Ula Clean Torstal as well, which is the last herb. And then we will no longer have ugly grimy herbs in the bank taking up precious space ever again. So, to fast forward probably caught me being AFK there. I was chatting with my wife in Discord. Uh, she's in Japan for a physics conference. She just asked me what I was up to, asking about RuneScape, so I was like, so this is the deal, I just got 70 herb lore. She's played a little bit of the game, so she knows kind of what the deal is with XP. Um... I told her I need to get to 77, and she's like, well, how long is that going to take? And I said, oh, I haven't done the math. Well, check it out. If I want to get to 77 Herb Lore, it is the same amount of XP that it's taken me to get from 1 to 70 Herb Lore. Terrifying. And then if I got it purely from herbs that I get from Herb Runs that I'm doing right now, uh, Andrew and I just calculated it would take about 150 hours of ju just the Herb Runs, not the actually processing the herbs into potions part. Oh my god. <laughs> Gee willikers. It's a hard knock life. Yeah, so that, that would be... We go from uh, hour 800, episode 100 uh, all the way to hour 1000, all of that time would be spent on Herblore. I really, I gotta think about this. I really gotta think about this. Do I really want more than 15% of the final playthrough to be seven levels of Herblore grinding? That sounds so bad. I could... Okay, I haven't said this out loud. It's been in my mind. I don't like it. I could treat the serodomen brews the same way I'm treating the summer pies and buy what I need for the boss fight. Like it would be a much more necessary purchase than the goddamn summer pies. Uh, buy what I need, do the quests, put it the big check mark, and then do my homework afterward, you know, of actually earning it back. It's like the footnotes to the playthrough. I kind of wanted to do the homework before finishing Song of the Elves, but. 
I mean, the, the playthrough's not going to be over after Song of the Elves. I'm going to continue to commit, like we do with any other finished game franchise focus, to play new content as it's released. So I, I want to continue to do new quests when they come out. But holy god. Alright, I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, I... Ugh. Ugh, I don't want to do... I don't want to buy these Cerodobin brews, goddammit. I would even go farm them if it was, like, possible. You know, if there was a reasonable but annoying or low drop rate method to get them. But let me just walk you through the wiki here. Uh, okay, so Demonic Gorillas dropped them, 25 out of 500. That's something you get from Monkey Madness 2. <sighs> they drop one one dose brew, is that right? It's a two dose brew. It's a one in 20 drop chance. Monkey Madness 2. Grubby Chest drops three two dose brews. Fourth dose dungeon requires 57 thieving, only possible from a grubby key. The grubby key is itself a 1 in 50 drop from level 152 red dragons and level 105 undead druids. That's a 1 in 75 drop. So first you have to get the key, and then you have to open the chest, and then you have to get an uncommon drop of a couple doses. The Calphite Queen drops them, 1 in 9, but the Calphite Queen's apparently quite difficult. You can... With an elite clue scroll, you can get 30 noted Cerodomen brews, the 1 in 28,750 chance. You can technically get them from Bounty Crates, which are not available to Iron Men. It would involve me getting involved in PvP, which would be really janky for the endgame. I guess the Cerodomen brew that drops from Calphite Queen is a 1 in 9, and it's a 4 dose. And for each attempt, I'm going to need to bring like 20 of them. So I'd have to kill the... At first, I'd have to learn how to fight the Calphite Queen, and then I'd have to kill her like 200 times to get enough doses for one attempt. And it's questionable whether I'm even strong enough to be able to fight her in the first place. Other sources, Abyssal Sire, not going to happen. Slayer level's too high. Commander Zilliana, level 596, not going to happen. Grotesque Guardians, maybe? Uh, Gargoyle Slayer task. Slayer 75. It's going, I, mean, I feel like if I'm going to go to Slayer 75, I may as well go to Herbler 77, right? It's comparable. Time sink. Um, yeah, I think I think we might be screwed. Uh, I'm still gonna try it. I, I, I'm gonna try it without the brews. I'm gonna try doing this whole blood magic thing where I heal primarily with ancient magic. Uh, it just seems like it's not gonna work. <laughs> Let's see. We're we are at hour seven thirty eight. Uh, I should be able to get my last three skills to 70 in that time, or 69, 70, and 70. Because if I wanted to end on episode 99, that means we beat Song of the Elves at hour 792, we beat Dragon Slayer 2 at hour 784, we beat Monkey Madness 2 at hour 776, we start Monkey Madness 2 at hour 768. That gives us 30 hours to do Hunter, Slayer, and Construction, which I think is possible. And it gives us an 8-hour buffer to, uh, if we wanted to do it in, you know, 1,000 hours and 100 episodes instead of 99 episodes. I kind of need to do 99 episodes just because my thumbnail format won't fit three digits in the episode count. I'd have to redesign it. Anyway, that's my rant. Uh, when we come back, hard focus, hard focus, 69 Slayer, hard focus, 70 Hunter, hard focus on money making for construction 70, um, which is going to involve finishing crafting all those gold bracelets, alking all of them, 
uh, thieving, probably getting thieving to like 71 or 72, depending on how many seeds we get. Possibly even higher. Making all the planks. I think the actual process of training construction is not going to be a problem. It's just going to be getting the gold. It's going to take the bulk of the time. Anyway, I'll be back in a few seconds from your perspective. I'm going to bed. Good night. Hey, good morning. I'm back. Uh, let's do another farming run. Going to be a lot of those. And then let's try to do this uh, Slayer task. Uh, fossil Island Wyverns. Off we go. All right, his Spory's up. Let me do that too. Also, I think I might sit and pickpocket. Uh, my farming contractor right now is Avento. I'm just completely out of any herb seeds that aren't Herolanders, so... i get my gear together for this boss fight. Okay, here, Mario, let's do this Hispori thing. Bring the Dragon Dagger down here, I help a bit of damage. Oh shit, quick, 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 quick. I remember that that's an attack that he does. Thanks. I do love this fight. Such a cool concept. The farming boss. Nice. Clear his spore. What do we get? Uh, spirit seed, I understand, is actually somewhat rare. Me. I don't think I'm going to be able to use it this playthrough, but... Spirit Seed. Unsellable. 83 farming. Five patches. Oh, yeah, this is to grow a spirit tree to be able to warp to. Cool. Well, a rare drop is cool, even one that I probably won't be able to use in the main quest game playthrough. It's still exciting. have another Hespori seed that I'm going to want to plant like immediately. Alright, I'm going to try to steal an Avento seed. Do that first. Wow, I pulled an Avento on like my sixth steal or something. Alright, I'm okay to put this shit away. I want to <clears throat> try to reserve most of my thieving for when I'm focusing on, um, what do you call it? Uh, construction, and I need the Ranar seeds to make money. So you kind of want 83 farming. Getting that rare spirit seed drop would be pretty convenient. I might want to try doing a hard rumble. Well, I was going to say I might want to try doing it with melee so that I can kill two birds with one stone and level defense. Um, range seems really important, especially because of that cheese I've discovered with the Legends Quest boss. I can like, hide behind it, just not take any damage for a while. I guess I could do range and use the long range attack, which levels defense, but. I feel like it's quite a bit slower. Okay, farming run complete. Let's go do um, this fossil island task, which doesn't seem crazy easy. <laughs> uh, I think I might have to make multiple trips because it's going to involve the use of prayer, but now I have 100 Dixite pendants, so it should, that should help. Bring my new disposable food. And I think there's something I can do to make it so the Dixite pendant teleports directly where I need to go. I might end up using that for um, the birdhouse runs. Birdhouses are still a thing that I want. 
If we end up taking Herblore to 77, if that becomes feasible, then I need those to make Ceridoman Brews. And they're kind of a time-gated resource. Let's bring a Prayer Potion too, just in case. Okay, so I think we go to the House on the Hill, and that's how we can tune the Dixite Pendant to something else. So I'm going to do that real fast. Let's see, do I also want to just go around the island and do my birdhouses real fast? I think I do. Let me make tags for my melee kit as well. I'm not even wearing this Slayer Helm, yikes. Oh, this is some Mega Man shit in here, the way this thing looks. A strange machine is the thing? One of these things doesn't let me use my dig site pendant on it, I think. Let me look it up. Dig site pendant. Pendant with a ruby jewel. The necklace glows brightly. It seems to bind its magic to this place. Nice. Dig site fossil island. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, so I think that's going to make future runs way easier. It's with magic mush tree. Not yet found. House on the hill. Okay. I'm just going to go unlock all these. So I think it's going to make bird house runs super easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, holy shit. There's one. Wow, I've been doing this the really dumb way. <laughs> Everyone is talking about, yeah, birdhouse runs are so easy. It's a source of, like, free XP. And I'm like, are you kidding? You really got to go way out of your way to get to a couple of those. But one of the the tree houses is, uh, is right there. It's right where the other two isolated uh, birdhouses are. Okay. I could probably start including birdhouse runs in my, my herb runs. It'd be super fast to catch some more um, ew logs, but... Now that I know how trivial this is, I was putting off making dig site pendants for that long because I didn't have any gold bars. Damn. Even if I hadn't made a dig site pendant, if I had known about the mush trees, I could have used the one that was by that uh, that hunter location in the corner. You know, there's one in the mushroom swamp too. And I'm not going to worry about that one for now. Oh, hey, it's a genie. Oh, I know where I'm putting your lamp, buddy. Oof. 700. It's pretty good. It's like... That's like one herb patch. That I don't have to do. Oh, right, we don't actually want to go to Fossil Island. Oops. I'm just gonna throw that onto the tail end of my, um, herb runs. That's great. Super fast. In fact, maybe I'll do Hunter later, because of all the passive Hunter XP I'm going to get from doing that. I wish I'd been doing that all along, but hey, never too late to start, right? Ooh. I'm bring Slayer. I need to bring the Mind Shield for this, I think. I think this is right, maybe. Let's go find out. I can always run away if shit gets bad. Those are the weak ones. Spitting. They're not like weak, weak. They're just the weakest of the options that I have. Not too bad as far as their defenses are concerned. It's not like steel dragons where like one in every five attacks hits. I do have a lot of hit health though. Shield absorbs most of the icy breath. Okay. I wonder if I can like. Flick the defense prayer and the attack prayer. Adamant plate body and wyvern bones. Okay. The fuck is hitting me? This is pretty doable so far. Alright, I'll fast forward through this unless we get an interesting drop. Hundred and fifty pure essence is pretty cool. This is where Slayer starts fitting, providing pure essence finally.
Brimstone key, fossil. This is great. Frozen and can't move. What the fuck? Come on, dude. I just want to get this loot. Stop attacking me. It's a dick move. Refill in prayer, try to find a solution for banking and turning to the place and all that fun stuff. So like they've got pretty lucrative drops for the most part. Try using my uh, super attack strength and defense potions and see how that changes things up here. 13 noted snape grass, okay. Oh wow, yeah, these potions make a huge difference. Okay, keep that in mind for future Slayer training. Now I've got ranging potions too for normal tasks that I can't, or that I won't want to melee. Thirty-five noted teak logs. Okay, I'm not complaining. This task is super reasonable compared to Steel Dragons. Like, I wish that the Metal Dragons were more like this, where it was like they just required a lot of attention. It didn't just take forever because their defense was stupid high. Alright, let's get out of here. Cool. That was fun. Also, getting into the Warrior's Guild and getting these cheap uh, potatoes with cheese, this changed everything. Like... I don't have to stress out about using a permanently consumable resource. I, I used to think of eating tuna potatoes as like borrowing time from future me. It's like you're gonna have to make up for that later. Now it takes like basically no time, which is fantastic. Okay, let's go see what the next task is. Uh, I guess I'm gonna recharge my skills necklace while I'm out. May as well. Hey, 167 worms in the Cruel Slayer dungeon. Let me go use that brimstone key. I forgot to grab it from the bank a second ago. This is a fun task because it's pretty lucrative, if I recall from last time. And mostly AFK, like I could fuck it up, but there's a way to be less dumb about it. I still can't use a, a cannon in there, can I? I don't think so. We're on a long. I went to all that trouble to get 4,000 cannonballs and have not gotten a task that I can use the cannon on since then. I'm gonna hit 69 Slayer before I get a chance to use it. It'd be great if I could get like four back to back cannonable tasks. I would just burn through them like we did with that uh, Lighthouse Dagonoth task a while ago. 11 Runite Ore. Okay. I guess that's worth 120,000 coins. Shocking me that individual. Bits of runite ore are so expensive. The worm area states the electricity the worms discharge it render the cannon useless. Okay. Whatever you say, game. Alright, let me get my gear together and we'll go do this. I gotta make more broad bolts soon, but that should be fine. I think this task will get me to 68 Slayer finally. We've been on several tasks since 67 started because it's getting really slow. You're really lucky to get a dragon harpoon. I think last time we fought these we got a uh, dragon knife stack, which I will probably never use. Harpoon I can use for boosting fishing, which would be pretty cool. Red Dehyde Chaps, that's kind of cool. I don't think they're using any clue steps, but... Didn't I get those as a drop, like, right after I got to 70 ranged on these guys and qualified to use the Black Dehyde Chaps that I got from a clue scroll or something? I remember, it was, it was just janky. I got to use them for, like, two minutes. They may have even dropped the clue scroll that dropped the Black Dehyde Chaps. I think I have to use one of my crystal keys to get another Dragonstone for the combat bracelet, but other than that... Two hundred and eighty-seven pure essence. 
This must have been how I was able to get all those law runes from, uh... When briefly stopped doing library, I was like, I have a stash of pure essences, I'll use them on law runes. I must have gotten them from here. Defense 72, I just wanted to top it off since we were close. We'll switch to rapid attack style. Trying out these ranging potions that I made from the dwarf weed. So I made a bunch of them. I figured I could burn some on Slayer tasks. I don't know what the proper strategy is for reapplying potions. Like, the way that they degrade one step at a time is kind of awful. So right now my plan is to just reapply whenever it gets to half of the original bonus. So I don't know if that's right, but feels not bad. I think I can safely alk these square shields because I have a couple more banks. Oh, Dragon Sword. Well, that's a 1 in 2,000 drop. It is not the uh, Dragon Harpoon, which would be the much more interesting drop. But it's still cool. Uh, it has a unique special attack, it looks like. It's more useful for fighting stuff in the wilderness, maybe. I guess it pierces through protection prayers, which is kind of neat. Go bank. So now I've gotten two 1 in 2,000 dragon drops from these guys, and not the one that's actually good. It's after killing, like, I don't know, maybe 250 of them total. And yet I went dry on Gorax for so long, and went dry on Cave Horrors for so long, wasting my... That's how statistics work, right? Next time I bank, I'm going to do my farming run real quick. Then come back. Ah, crud, I forgot to go do my farming run. I'll do it after this kill here. I'm going to get that clock ticking. Finishing chewing. Another dragon knife. So we've had three 1 in 2,000 drops in slightly more than 200 kills and still no harpoon. Hit points 80. Awesome. That was going to be the threshold I wanted for Grandmaster Quest. Anything after that is bonus. Got another brimstone key here. We get a rune plate body. That's the worst one we've ever gotten. Lame. I'll go ahead and elk it. Slayer 68, one to go. We are so close to being done with Slayer. And I think we're going to try to work on getting money for construction because now that I can kind of train Hunter passively through uh, my farming runs by going and doing birdhouses, I want to do that passively for as long as possible while I'm doing something else, like making money for construction. And then we'll, we'll wrap with Hunter, I think. But let's keep pushing for uh, 69 Slayer. Another Brimstone Key, very cool. Palm tree seeds from the... Uh, I didn't actually realize that those were that rare and expensive that they could come out of the Brimstone chest. 50,000 gold each, I guess. I should plant more of those and like, if I'm not going to be running fruit trees all the time, because you need coconut milk to make some uh, herb lore things that I might actually want. So maybe I'll do a tour and plant all my palm trees later. I think I need papayas to protect them, so maybe I can do the papaya first. Assuming I remember that, I guess I was off mute, if you heard that alarm going off, um, I guess it's time for my farming run, so next time my inventory fills up, I'll get right on it. Ranged 83. It's all just bonus right now.
a task complete rune battle axe on the way out. Let's go see what the next task is. I only got about an hour left in the episode, and I need to do Nightmare Zone soon. Because uh, I need points for more herb boxes. So, I'm trying to think how I can best fit that in here. I guess I could wrap this episode a little early and then have like an extra hour in the next one. Maybe we'll do that. Let me see what the next Slayer task is. If it's something I can can it, then that would be really great. Stronghold Slayer Dungeon. I think that one I can use a cannon in, finally. <sighs> this is the one I usually do with melee. Dwarf Multi Cannon, maybe use in the dungeon. Hey, That's such a short task, I should be able to quickly deal with it too, before the episode's over, so we'll do that instead of wrapping early and doing Nightmare Zone now. Quickest Slayer task ever. That was pretty reasonable. Go see what the next one is. Do you now have 316 points in the bank, Slayer points? Black Demons. So the reason this is interesting to me... Oh, actually, no, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, I think there's an enemy during Monkey Madness 2 that you can use the... Uh, Slayer Helm on. It's one of the things that was recommended. But you have to have Black Demons as a task, but I don't think it would count from uh, Cone R, because it's specifically Black Demons in one area. What I don't know is if we can use a cannon in the Brimhaven dungeon. Let me uh, take a look here. Cannon. Maybe used. A. I think I also have a shortcut to these guys. Let's take a look. I do. Alright, one more thing to look at. Alright, don't really have any sources for a cannon spot, so I'm just going to try to go look for one. Uh, I think I need to, just in case, bring an anti dragon fire shield, because the shortcut that I'm going to use to get to the black demon takes me right past some bronze dragons. So I'll deal with. Potentially wasting an inventory slot on it. It brings some emergency food too, because I don't really know what to expect here. Maybe we can reduce the materials we're bringing on the second pass. RuneScape videos are fucking something else, man. There's so much like dubstep and like screamo and just all this crazy music playing in the background, different styles of editing. Like, it is an experience. I'm not gonna put them in these videos, but at some point just look up, like, RuneScape Black Demon Brimhaven Safe Spot. Just as a fun example. Any of the things that you've seen me in this series, stop to Google. Try Googling it yourself, because just, like, the range of personalities of the people who make these videos, the music that they play in the background, the, like, unregistered hypercam 2, like, it's, it's nuts. Okay, I'm gonna give this a shot. I don't know if there actually is a safe spot that's easily accessible from here. Glad I brought the Dragonfire Shield up. Okay, I think there's one past this pipe. Ow. Dick. Okay, so then I just need to figure out if I'm able to cannon them safely from back here. Several places I could technically place the cannon. Let's see how this works out. Yeah, I think this will work. Okay. So this works, but I think we want to come back here with a range setup instead of uh, melee to make the cannon hit more often and just for other reasons. The fuck, the steel dragon aggroed me from the other room and it's still chasing me. Are you kidding me? Seriously? It still won't leave me alone? This is like comical. Do I have to just exit to get it to leave me alone? That was frustrating. I'm gonna go get a ranging potion anyway and bring some more food. I still haven't found a good cannon spot here. Alright, this setup's actually pretty doable. Um, I'm gonna pick up my cannon once it empties here and then go do a farm run and we'll probably actually call the episode there and just pick up from this Slayer task in the next episode.
these birdhouse runs went from being really annoying and not seeming to be worth it to like trivial to do and ridiculous to forget to do. Like, especially if you go to Verdant first, you go right back in the door you just came out of. This is insanely effective. So like the big problem I'm going to have is I'm going to continually forget to put the seeds in the birdhouse, right? I have enough seeds from pickpocketing to last me forever, too. I'm just wondering, like, if I had been doing birdhouse runs the right way, if I had made these stupid dig site pendants hours ago and had done one of these around, alongside every herb run we've done so far, what level hunter would I be? Probably pretty high. I should be pretty much set on bird nests if we ever do get herb lore high enough to be able to do... Um, Ceradomen Brews. I feel like I should have the resources for it forever. I'm trying to make a habit of checking the birdhouse list. Okay, if they all say done, then they should be good. You know, I might have something to end the episode on. I guess the I have everything I need skill-wise for the Karend uh, Hard Diary. Smithing 70 and I can boost to farming 74 now. Let me just look through this list and make sure there's nothing else that I already qualify for. Falador Diary, maybe. Slayer 72 is boostable, which I think I should be able to get to with that wild pie. Um, I guess let me finish the farm run and I'll research while I'm doing that. I must have come to this plot super late because it's not ready for harvesting for some reason. I'm going to try popping the other ones and then coming back. This must, like I said, this must have been the last one that I did, I guess. Oh shit, let me see if I... Can I warp away with this guy? Oh no, it disappears when I try to go to a bank. Okay, I'd have to be holding the thing the whole time, I guess. Ah well. Okay, I think that's going to be about our wrap point for this episode. Uh, next episode, I am looking to do the... Corend and Falador Hard Diaries. I think I should be able to finish both of those. And both of them give fairly decent rewards. The Corend one's pretty great. Some really convenient stuff in there. Uh, that's going to involve... I have to do one run of um, Tithe Farm, which... I guess I could just go ahead and knock out both of them and get the auto weed if I'm going to be doing these herb runs every hour or so. Uh, I think it's still very feasible that we will finish... Hunter 70, Construction 70, and Slayer 69 in time to attempt all three Grandmaster quests by episode 100. I'm going to keep trying for that. That's in the back of my mind. Uh, I think the diaries, though, will be nice and fun to do. It'll be a little bit of distraction, and we can pump the, the lamps from those onto Herblore. Um, I guess I want to do those early, especially the Karenda diary, because it gives a uh, increased yield on the herb patches in both the Hasidious patch and the uh, farming guild patch, which is a big deal if I'm gathering those once an hour for the next hundred hours or so. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next episode, we will probably finish 69 Slayer. Probably going to have to do some Nightmare Zone and get those a uh, couple diaries done. So lots of stuff that's coming up. Uh, hopefully we can do all three of those before the next episode ends. Later.